What is up guys, my name is Ali A and welcome to three new game modes that have been added to Modern Warfare 3 today. All of these game modes and gameplays can be found within this one video. The first game mode is going to be one in a chamber and it's going to be live. And then after that I'm going to be talking more about the three new game modes. So enjoy and I'll talk to you guys in a second. What is up guys, my name is Ali A and today we're we'll playing the new, uh, one of the new free fall game modes live. This is one, of in one in a chamber exactly the same as the one in the chamber from Black Ops. Uh, wager matches, except this one's slightly changed here. Looks like we've got a different pistol. Uh, ten people on the team. Uh, let me just mute the few people there. And um, uh, they're going to be around me here. So oh, easy target. Let's line this up. Oh, flail! God, right. Let's go jump on it. Yep. Normally, my knifing sucks, but apparently it's just on target here. Looks like we're going to be getting some. Oh, night. Looks like we're going to be getting some specialist um, point streak as well here. I'm going to sort of stay. Here. Oh. <laughs> Oh, they're all around me here. Let's see if I can... Yep, just... Oh, jeez, that's four in a row. Okay. It looks like they're all in this area here. I'm going to stay around here. I think I can hear so someone coming from over this area here. I'm not sure they've cut off sections of the map or if it's the whole map. Um, oh, I don't know. Right, let's go up top here. I can take that guy out. Yep, easy target. It was a straight shot. Another guy. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. All right, one six here. One six. Um, I think people have lives as well. The same as... Uh, I haven't died yet myself, so I'm not too sure. But I think other people have lives as well. Oh, damn it. This is um, host migration. Oh, it's super quick. Far quicker than Modern Warfare 2's ever was. Uh, I think there's four of us left in total now. I can hear a guy to my right. So let's quickly run out to the right here. No, is, is he above me? No, I think he's just falling down. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, red dot on the map. Yes, baby! Specialist bonus! Alright, it looks like, uh, taking a look at the radar, that there's the, um, it's actually got the radar activated at the moment, so it's going to be a bit of a head-on-head -head battle here. He's going to know where I am, and I'm going to know where he is. Oh, I've spotted him, he's just behind here. Hold on, I'm going to rush him. Oh! <laughs> there we go, guys. Um, whoa! I think we went 8-0 in the end, so with a nice funky headshot at the end there. Really hope you've enjoyed. This has been the brand new game mode 1 in the chamber. That was a lot of fun. Welcome back, and as I said at the end of that live commentary, it is a load of fun, and if you enjoyed the live commentary, and you're enjoying this gameplay too, feel free to like the video, you guys have been really supportive of my last videos, and I really, really appreciate it. Here's another epic gameplay, this one is from Gun Game, and Gun Game is, uh, of course, exactly the same as the Gun Game, which is a wager mode from Black Ops, however, there's actually two options this time, there's the uh, 18 gun progression, where you get 18 guns, and you have to cycle through each gun until you've done all 18 to win and if you knife someone that person will be deranked down to the gun below that tier uh, but there's actually a different variation on this where there's only six guns and these six guns are rotated three times this one is a lot more fun this is the 18 gun progression so the normal gun game that we're used to seeing and it's a load of fun you've got to play this a lot differently to um, a normal game mode and you've got to remember it's free for all and what you want to do is essentially hold down an area where you can have a bit of cover and you can uh, pop out of and check two directions and basically watch the spawns. If you've got a headset on it helps a lot in terms of hearing which direction the enemies are coming from and uh, I use my headset here to my advantage and it really helped me out. I'm using the Astro A40 headset. It's a really really good headset that I recommend um, but essentially you want to prop yourself up in a certain part of the map where you can see two directions and um, if you kill someone from the right the likelihood is you're going to be looking in the right direction so the spawn system isn't going to put anyone there and you then want to go and check your left side and if there's no one on the left again go back to your right side and keep on jumping between the two directions and trying your best to control the area that you're in and not let anyone get too close to you uh, because of course you don't want to get knifed and if you get knifed like I did that person there he's going to be now deranked one of the gun levels and this guy gets completely slapped I don't know what he's doing trying to shoot me standing still and still not being able to do it um, the G18 with red dot is pretty much the hardest gun out of the 18 to use. Uh, you want to get as close as possible to an enemy before you actually properly uh, shoot into them and try and kill them because the uh, visual recoil on screen is just massive. And this is the final pistol, the final gun you'll be using before you actually win the game mode. And again, as so I drop someone there with the knife. Um, but gun game is so much fun. And from what I know, you can actually go into these game modes, although they're free for with a party and have a lot of fun with it anyway. 
anyway. Could be wrong there, but even if I am wrong, you can play them in private matches anyway now. So that has been the new game mode, a gun game added to Modern Warfare 3. Now moving on to a brand, brand new, if you want to call it that, game mode called All or Nothing. And essentially this is a really, really cool game uh, designed by the community actually and put forward into the community playlist where you start off with nothing but a throwing knife an attack knife, no ammo, nothing, uh, and you have a specialist package equipped, and once you get that first kill, it will instantly give you scavenger, allow you to run over the enemy that you've just killed and get uh, basically a scavenger pack, which will give you your throwing knife if you've lost your throwing knife, and some ammunition to shoot with your gun. Now, essentially, the idea of this is to get that first kill as soon as possible, and then constantly be checking your sides, your back, everything, as I'm doing here all the time. I'm trying to make sure that uh, no one's creeping up behind me and then using that pistol, the ammo that you've got uh, within that one clip because you get one clip's worth of ammo each time you pick up a scavenger pack to kill off the enemies and uh, keep that pistol for as long as possible by not dying and just keep on replenishing your ammo using this scavenger pack and if you can do this well you can stay alive for a long long time and within this gameplay I have one little streak where I stay alive for a long time long enough to get a specialist, a specialist package but the only way you can stay alive um, for a long time is making sure that you're checking all your sides. Try not to get too close to the enemy uh, just in case they do get uh, a very quick knife swipe in there. Uh, that will screw you over massively. But this is another, all three are honestly really, really fun. And uh, if you aren't enjoying Modern Warfare 3 quite as much at the moment, then jump into these new game modes, give them all a go, and I'm sure you have a lot of fun, especially with friends. And I get a nice little throw knife kill here up the top, and this guy's completely unaware of what's just happened, allowing me to pick up some ammunition. Um, the smaller maps definitely work a lot better for these game modes. I was playing on, I think, C-Town, I believe, and that map's just a tad too big for these game modes. The one thing you do, do need to be aware of, as you've probably seen in a, a few of my deaths here, is that uh, while you're shooting the enemy with your pistol, you can just get those lunges which go straight through your bullets and you get knifed uh, straight away. Uh, for those, there isn't really much you can do apart from shooting as quickly as you can. I have a nice controller where I can shoot really quickly. It's not modded or anything, but it allows me just to shoot quickly because of the uh, shot shape of the shoot button uh, and try and shoot as quickly, quickly as possible is definitely the best way to go about it. Making sure you have your back to a wall is also very important, it means you don't have to check your back quite as often. Um, unfortunately, um, as I try and gun down the last guy there, I don't manage to win this final gameplay, but all of the game modes are super fun, hopefully you have got an idea of all the new game modes, there'll be a link in the description to uh, full details and all of the game modes if you want to read over that as well. If you're interested, uh, clicking on the screen can check out some new Black Ops 2 leaked information and some even more in-depth leaked information where I talk about specific parts of the information that has been leaked or supposedly leaked and I break it down for you guys to get a better understanding, but I really hope you've enjoyed as I mentioned on earlier on the video. Clicking the like button is super awesome and all of the support you guys give me is really appreciated. I must thank you for that. Um, so I really hope you've enjoyed. Let me know what you think of these new game modes and uh, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.